So let me jump right in, folks. And would you first describe what Dakota and Lakota Traditional Games Guide is and how it came to be? The Dakota and Lakota Traditional Games Resource Guide is a written description of and photographs of six Lakota games and six Dakota games. And I coordinated the project as a free download off the SDSU Extension website. And um, Jeremy and Mike provided the content. And it was funded through the SNAP-Ed grant. And it's as a, it's a strategy to provide a form of physical activity to families, um, as well as preserving and sharing um, important cultural knowledge. What was the catalyst for it? Why did the idea come up and why did you think it was important? So we have community coalitions and we help guide them in choosing initiatives that will improve the environment for healthy eating and physical activity. Traditional games was one of our physical activity options and our um, Lakota Homes Coalition in Rapid City was first interested in that initiative. And so we set up a training with the International Traditional Games Society out of Montana. The trainings were, were really positive, and, um, but I did hear some participants say that they were really interested in Lakota games and um, Dakota games and um, because we learned games from all over North America. So like with the lacrosse, which um, just to be clear that there is a difference between the Dakota and Lakota side of things when, when mm -hmm. it comes to that. Lakota is on the west side of the Missouri, uh, actually played shinny. Uh, whereas on closer to Minnesota and where, where we're at, we played lacrosse, so the sticks were different. In the language, the game was called the same thing, but, um, you know, our things always were dictated by our ecosystem and the place where we were living. But they said that these games were a form of education. They were, you know, kids, when, when they're playing these things, they're, they're perfecting, they're learning their skills as hunters, as warriors, uh, for the for the girls, you know how to take care of a home. The the, the teepees, you know, you know, putting putting them together. Uh, so everything was based off of what was going to help them to survive. One thing about the games, uh, I think people have a, a particular notion about how native people are, but you know, we had games just like any other culture. I think it, it makes a good bridge, you know, when people come, I get a lot of non-native people come and want to play the games and learn about the, the different games we have. And I think it just makes it a little more, makes us more uh, human 